So by the end of this video, we are going to understand how we can implement the uh, local authentication or fingerprint authentication in our Flutter app. Okay, so when I click on this button start auth, it will show that uh, please authenticate and when the authentication is done, it will move it move us to the home screen. Okay, uh, the black part is because uh, it is prohibited to record in the process of authentication. Okay, so today I'm going to show how we can add fingerprint authentication or in other words biometric authentication in our Flutter app. Okay, so I just made a new pro Flutter project and I'm going to remove this boiler code. I don't need it. And uh, as always, I'm going to make a new directory to, show, to store my screens and I'm going to make a new screen as art screen and uh, I'm gonna make another screen as you know home screen. home screen okay so the basic idea of this app will be that uh, we will prompt the user to to do the authentication to the to use a biometric authentication and if the user successfully shows that uh, he's authorized we will move him to the home screen okay so let's just make this home screen okay and I'm gonna name it as home screen and I'm going to import the material package for this okay so in the home screen I'm just going to show scaffold and uh, I'm going to show a body and in the body I'm just going to center a text and I'm just going to show that this is a home screen this is a home screen okay so this turn okay so what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to work on this the authentication screen okay so I'm just going to rename it as auth screen import the material package and yeah it's done so the package I'm going to use over here is the local auth it can be found in the pub.dev it can be imported from the pub.dev and I'm just going to do that Okay, so what's the issue over here? Let's just wait for it. Okay, it's not showing anything. Okay, so let me just import it by myself. Okay, so I'm just going to use screens and uh, art screen. Okay, so I just imported my art screen and the package I'm going to use over here is the local art okay so I'm just gonna copy it and paste it in my pubspec.yaml file and uh, let's just wait let's just press pub get and get that file okay so meanwhile if we go to the documentation we can see that for the Android setup, in the Android setup, we need to set the activity, the main activity, as uh, Fletcher fragment activity because it can't use the fragment activity. Okay, so we will have to change it in our Android folder in our Flutter app. Okay, so if we, uh, if you are using the Java, then you will have to copy this and if you are using the Kotlin you will have to copy this so I'm just gonna copy this as I'm using Kotlin in my app so I'm just gonna cop change this and I'll just change the flutter activity to flutter fragment activity okay so the next thing I'll have to do over here is that uh, I've ha I'll have to grant the permission 
I'll have to grant the permission of using the user and the biometric in our app okay so in I'm just going to uh, in the Android manifest file and I'm going to call the user permission okay and I'm going to use that as I'm gonna use users permission and uh, the permission name will be Android Android dot uh, permission dot permission dot use biometric okay so use biometric will be bigger and biometric okay so I just have to close this and by doing this we are asking for Android that we Android that we want that user uh, the, to use the biometric that is in our app not in our phone okay so this is done and yeah it's fine so if we go to this we can see you can see that in the permissions object your android manifest.xml so I just you added this line I just added this line in my app okay in my project okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is that I'll have to go to the auth screen and what I'm going to do is that I'll call okay so I'm just gonna use a scaffold over here okay uh, to show it a bit in a good state okay so I'm gonna call a scaffold a scaffold and uh, it will have a body okay so the body will sh uh, be will show that uh, I want to sh uh, uh, will show a button okay and the button will be uh, used to enable or to start the authentication process okay so what we're gonna do is that I'm gonna give center and in the center I'm gonna give a child as elevated button and the elevated button will contain uh, the on press it requires the on press and it requires a child okay so the child will be text and uh, start auth okay so in this video I'll just I'm, I'll be covering only the fingerprint authentication okay so the face recognition or the iris will be covered in some next video okay so to use our authentication in our app, the first thing we will have to do is import or to instantiate the local authentication. Okay, so local authentication, I'll call it as local auth, local authentication. Okay, and I'll use local authentication. Okay, so I won't have to do this in the build method. I'll remove from it from the build method because I don't want it to be instantiated every time the build method is called so the next thing I'm gonna do is that I want to check that whether uh, the biometric scanner is available or not okay so I'm gonna use a bool okay I'm gonna use a boolean for it and for now it can be null or can check biometrics or can check or let's just say it as can scan okay so for now it's null and uh, next I will call a function or I'll just make a function and check biometrics okay so this function will be responsible to check that whether I'll ha I have the biometric sensor available or not okay so let's just make this and this process is in a sync process and we will have to await uh, the process of checking the biometrics because sometimes it can take some time so to assure that we get the results I will use await over here and I'll use the local authentication dot check can check biometrics okay so yeah this is done okay so I'm gonna make an other function and this function will be responsible for the authentication process 
so I'm just gonna make it as authenticate uh, this function will also be a sync function and yeah so the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna make a did authenticate or did authenticate okay so let me just use this authenticate and initially it will be false and the next thing I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna use did authenticate is equals to await and I'm gonna use local authentication dot authenticate okay so this line will be responsible for the authentication process okay so this line will be responsible for starting our authentication process and the uh, reason we are going to give over here is it uh, can be seen that it requires a string so I'm just gonna give a reason please authenticate to continue okay or I can say that continue to home screen okay so this method will basically be the reason or uh, it will be a line that we will show to our user that why do we want the authentication okay so having said that I'm gonna use the options okay and um, it, this will basically be to make two things I'm gonna use two things over here first one is sticky auth I'll set it to true and biometric only okay so what this, what this mean will uh, that if I want uh, the if somehow uh, the user is the the app is put to the background while uh, authenticating for some reason like uh, you can you can see that in normal usage we can get some calls or all that so in that process our app can be set to the background so to avoid error in that place uh, we will make the sticky auth as true and uh, as you can see in the documentation in the end they have said this if you want you can read this I just said the same thing okay so I'm gonna use authentication options and uh, I'm gonna give sticky auth is equals to true okay and the next I want is that I want to use biometric only and I'll set it to true okay so yeah made that constant and all that okay so this is done okay so now we want to check that this process the is true or false or if when the method when this method ran or when this process was go working okay so did the authentication was successful or we or there was intruder or something else okay so to check this we will use if did authenticate did authenticate is true okay so if did authenticate is true we are going to set the state to or we can just you know push to the other screen and we will say navigator navigator dot navigator dot of context okay so I'm just gonna push replacement okay uh, push uh, replacement okay so material page route I'm gonna use material page route and uh, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna call I'm gonna use material page route and it needs a context yeah so it needs a context and uh, I'm gonna call okay what's the error over here the mighty okay so I'm gonna call uh, but let's, let's just wait I'm gonna use context um, the screen will be home screen so it just needs a uh, widget so I just provided it a widget so yeah it's done and 
yeah it's fine so in the on press method or our okay I'm just gonna run this app in my real device and uh, meanwhile I will copy this can check biometrics and I'm gonna call it in the elevated button I'm gonna use it in the elevated button okay for some reason stuff okay so I'm gonna call it over here and uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is that I'll have to call the authenticate method in our check biometric okay so let's just wait and I've run my app and uh, let's wait for it to open so I'll just come when the app is done okay so our app is installed and let me show you so first of all it's just it has opened the auth screen okay so it's showing the auth screen uh, with the button start auth okay so in my phone uh, I'll ha I have this uh, fingerprint okay so I'm just gonna you press start auth and it's showing that authentication required please authenticate to continue to home screen the same line we have uh, given in our authenticate method okay so I'm just gonna authenticate my fingerprint and this is okay so yeah so this is done and our screen is authenticated this is a home screen okay so we, we what we checked is that if the authentication was successful it means that the did authenticate variable will be set to true and if it is set to true we are moving to the home screen okay so we just move to the home screen and uh, this is the home screen okay so this is all for now and um, see you in the next video